Are these the most powerful plugins that you can get for Adobe Illustrator? Well, we're going to find out in today's video with a 14 day free trial and I'm going to test run some of those plugins right here. So Astute Graphics apparently do have some of the best quality plugins for Illustrator and the entire bundle of 18 plugins is $119. However, there is a 14 day free trial and I'm going to download them all right now and try out three plugins to really test the quality and the reliability of them. Are they going to be worth that price tag? I of course would try all of the 18 plugins on video, but that would end up taking a long time and probably about a week's worth of editing. So once you commit to the downloads, you're going to see this widget appear where you can install all of the plugins one by one. Do make sure that you're not currently running Adobe Illustrator and then you can go ahead and install the plugins from Astute Graphics. Now, if you want to learn more about a specific plugin, you can click the learn more tab and then you'll be directed to your browser about that specific plugin. But hey, let's waste no more time and let's test drive some of these plugins. This first one is called Auto Savior. Now this is gonna be a really quick plugin to talk about because it just auto saves your work or it reminds you to save your work. You can open up the window here and the options are presented before you. You can set the time to autosave, so maybe five minutes, 10 minutes, or you can just set a reminder to save your work. And of course, there's a backup option too. Now this feature I think is great because there have been times I have regretted not saving my work. And I think most of us can relate to that. Now I know a lot of you love hearing or seeing plugins that are based around color in Adobe Illustrator. Well, this plugin is probably one of the best examples of controlling color in Adobe Illustrator. Now I have a neat illustration on screen and let's use it to explore this color plugin. You will notice that it does a lot of things you would expect to see in Photoshop, but in real time and on a vector. So for example, here we have the brightness and contrast sliders. And if we want to return them back to the default settings, we can just click the X to the right of the sliders. Now below that, we have a hue, saturation and lightness slider. And I think I'm going to try and make a really zany complementary color design of purples and yellows. So again, like in Photoshop, we have the exposure setting here. And then below that, a temperature adjustment slider. Now you can really have a lot of fun with these sliders and also even a color overlay option. So if I wanted to overlay a blue color, I could do that and then slide to what extent I would want that blue overlay to have an impact. And then further down, we have an invert option and also a desaturate option. And again, you probably do see similarities to Photoshop here. And at the very bottom are settings relating to printing and overprint. And that's basically to do with when two different colors meet on a printing design. You can, of course, look into that yourself about overprint and stuff. But we're not done yet with this color plugin. And of course, everything we have just done can be applied to text, fills, or even strokes, which is insanely powerful when you think about it. However, one really neat option is the halftone section of this plugin. You do have a myriad of settings that would allow you to apply halftone effects to your designs in real time. This in of itself is so, so cool. And in combination with everything else in this single plugin, it's pretty amazing. I know some of you really dig the duotone effect. Well, this plugin can give you that in one easy action with this section here. I also do like duotone myself and being able to apply that to a vector design in real time with all of these settings is pretty awesome. And so to finish off this second plugin, we have the curves and the levels, which again is reminiscent of Photoshop and it's something you would typically expect to find there but now you can adjust and play with them on a vector design. So 
So I do have to say that this plugin alone is really eye-opening. And there are of course 16 more plugins, including the autosave function we looked at earlier. But let's move on to the third plugin today. Oh, and quickly just a heads up, I'm not sponsored by Astute Graphics in any way, I just wanted to test drive these plugins today. But the next one is something that's really, really useful and it has a lot of neat features. And I'm pretty sure you're gonna be blown away by it. Now you can find the vector first aid menu right here, and then we can begin to operate on our design. Now, if you have your design selected and then you click check selection, you will see a rundown of what's actually going on. Obviously, there are too many points and also unnecessary groups among other things. And this will make the design more difficult to work on and it's going to increase my file size. So if I click fix all, the plugin is going to work on my design and at the bottom of the panel, you can see it has worked on 392 point types. But this is just one edition of this plugin. If I click the top left option, which is the super smart point removal, the plugin will take a few moments to go over my design and remove all unnecessary points. And in this case, that's a whopping 2,471 of them. Again, this is gonna help with workflow and file size of my design. So the next option along is going to rejoin any broken paths on my design. And I actually don't have any today, as you can see displayed again at the bottom of the panel. So we're now moving into text, and this is possibly one of my favorite parts of this plugin, everything about the text. Now, if you look closely on my line of text, there is a blue dot on the left. And this essentially means when I type, text will be generated from left to right. Now in the plugin, I can change the dot in real time to the middle or to the right. And then of course, my text will be generated from those points. But there is a lot more we can do with text in this plugin. Now I'm sure you've had a block of text like this and you've probably wanted to break it into two lines. Well, this plugin can do that with just one click. Not only that, but you can break the text into words and also glyphs as well. So let's take a step further with text. Like before, let's break up this group into two different lines and then move them into a different order. We can then actually come up to the top and unite them back into one line of text. Now, how awesome is that? So let's take this text and then outline it, basically rendering any edits to the wording itself as a font impossible. Now with this plugin, we can select the outline text and then instantly revert it back to an editable font from a vector shape. Truly outstanding. So as I said, I'm not gonna test every single plugin because that would take so much of my time and I simply don't have that time to do it. But from just the plugins in today's video, I do think that this bundle is worth the $119. And of course, you guys can test it out for yourself with that 14 day free trial. And you don't need a credit card or a debit card to actually access that free trial. But let me know what you thought of today's video. And also, of course, which of the plugins was your favorite? Check back in to my channel every single week for graphic design content. And of course, click one of the videos linked on screen. But until next time, guys, design your future today. Peace.